guys, Heather here with Northern Vintage Decor. So today I wanted to come on and show you a recent Goodwill haul video. I went there this morning and I just needed to get out of the house. I don't want to be home all day and I figured it was kind of a rainy day. I'm just going to get out. I'm going to go to Goodwill and we're going to see what is there. I feel like this was a really great haul for what I'm working with right now. I was able to find vintage ephemera, a little bit more modern ephemera, some beautiful art, and I'm just gonna show you everything right now. So first, we'll get started. This is more of like a home decor paper display piece. You would insert right here like maybe like a journal card or collage art, photo. I just, I really liked this. It's really simple, very lightweight. It is a modern piece. I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, super lightweight, but just really simple. Like when I do markets, these are the type of little display tabletop pieces I like to use. They have the bulldog clip already in place and it will just be a great piece. Here, I can show you right here. I have this very lovely Edith Holden print. So you can see that here. And then it's also double-sided. So it's a, you know, it could be a little smaller cut down to fit, but cut down, that would look really pretty in there. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna use it for, something like that. The next item that I found during the Goodwill haul I thought these were so pretty, and I believe they're all the same. So they're done by an artist. They're Bruken's Bend Oil. Uh, Jan Kenny was the artist, so I don't know. She might even be a local to my area. These were super beautiful, and they're printed into cards. I think you can see and then It just looks like a really beautiful fall road with the tree scenery of northern Michigan, really. I'm not sure where that's at exactly, but it says Bruken's Bend, so yeah, I don't know. If you know where that is, if that is what it means, let me know. And in this package, there was a set of one, two, three, four, five. So there's five in here, and then there's just a handful of envelopes. So some of the envelopes I'll add with the cards, and then some of the envelopes I will just decorate up. So that was a really fun find. And these are probably, let me see, this is one of my favorite finds. So it was this vintage post-a-note, box of vintage postcards. And you can see just the age from the box here. And then I open it up and there is just a bunch of super, super pretty, very like chic, I don't know, I just, I love them. It says just a line and she's hanging the clothes on the line but it's a postcard. So I love, I love that, the quirkiness of it. And then this one is between my pressing duties <laughs> and there's like a little Victorian lady ironing out. And again, it's a postcard to be wrote on the bag. So there's several of the, between the, the line, the pressing duties and then here we have another print. It's always in the market for news. So there's a little Victorian lady who's like trolling around with her dogs trying to hear the latest gossip. <laughs> At least that's how I take it. I don't know. But yeah, there's a postcard with the lines for that. And then let's see. That might be it as far as like the different variety of graphics on the postcards. Uh, but yeah, super, super cool. So these might, these I might even add in an ephemera pack and put them for sale or just sell individually on our website. Uh, so check back northernvintagedecor.com to see if I do that. And then on the inside it says, have you seen the other fine current products available? So they must have been a company... Not sure, it doesn't say the brand on here, but post a note. I don't know, that might be the brand. So, very cool, vintage. I really, really was excited about that find. The next one I grabbed just because it was interesting. I don't come across patches very often, and it's just a bag full of a variety of different package. Uh, uh, badges. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that. So this is like a bunch of Pine River 
badges. I just thought those were really cool. They're all embroidered badges. Uh, well made. This one is like, just, they're just all kinds. There's Kalkaska County uh, Cycle Conservation Club. 1981. You know, I just felt like some of these would look good on journals. There's just a whole bag. So as you can see, and it was a really great price. So I'll see. We'll see what we do with those. But like I said, I don't come across a bag full of badges very often at such a low price. So I figured why not? I can put these to use. And this is Definitely a tie between the post-a-note cards. This is my other favorite top find. I seen it and it was a little bit, it wasn't expensive, but for Goodwill pricing, I was like, I wonder why that is what it is because I don't really see, I thought it was a gift box and it was all in plastic and it was buried under stuff. So I opened up the plastic that it was in and I quickly realized, wow, this is some type of stationery. This is handmade paper. And as I undo it here, you'll see I'm unfolding it. Oh, and I just, I love this. You guys know, I just, I just used a bunch of the upside down. I used up almost all my handmade paper in my recent journals. So this is like super amazing to me. So this is the first time I'm really getting to look at it. It looks like a stationery set. And these are envelopes. So these are handmade paper envelopes you guys this is so gorgeous if you've never seen handmade paper with pressed leaves and flowers in it you you have to there's just something about it especially if you love paper and stationery oh my goodness okay so there's several envelopes there um, and then here is the handmade paper oh my gosh I love it so you can see now it looks quite light on the screen here, but it does have some hues when I hold it up in front of the light of light browns in it too. And yeah, there's just there's a few sheets and they are good they are good size. They look by they look like five by sevens. So that's awesome. Okay, so I have the handmade paper and the handmade envelopes, and I am definitely gonna be creating with these lovely pieces. And then there's this awesome folio folder that they're in, and this is also has a handmade paper on it. So I'm gonna put these back in here. I just love this. This is just, it just goes exactly with everything that I am working on right now, and I hope that when I make stuff with this, you guys will enjoy it and appreciate it just as much because it's super, it's just, it's really nice. It's a really nice quality um, handmade paper. And I don't know where it was made. Um, the marking wasn't, nothing was on there as far as that goes, but you can definitely appreciate it, right? Okay, so that's how it folds up. Super cool. And I picked this up because I was like, well, either we can use this at my house or I can use this when I'm doing videos and I want to pull out my paper, um, just have easy access to it. So here it is. It's this silverware tray that you would normally put in your silverware drawer as a divider for the utensils. I have a thing for metal. I love metal, wire, baskets. So no, I don't come across these too often. Definitely not like this style. It is a modern piece, um, but like I said, I'm just gonna stick like ephemera and paper in here so that when I'm doing a video, but I wanna show you guys something, it helps me stay organized. And for, I think it was two bucks. I mean, it's the perfect organizer for two bucks. So that definitely was going in the cart. Now, I was surprised at this find. This piece of art is a watercolor painting done by an, an artist, and it's professionally matted, the watercolor signed, and then it has some of the artist's story on the back here. Is this not beautiful? It is super beautiful. And it's on, done on watercolor paper, and it's original. So again, it's like professionally matted, ready to hang, and then on the back it talks about the artist herself. So I just really thought this was an amazing piece. And again, I found it at Goodwill and it's amazing. It's amazing what you'll find there when you look for it, right? The last piece I'm gonna show you is this awesome piece of art. Now this is like a multimedia piece, but I'm not exactly sure what type of art this is. So if you know, let me know. At first I thought it was like felt work 
but the more I look at this, it almost looks like somebody used a type of marker or pen to draw it. So, and I don't really know what it's done on, if that's paper or material, not sure. But regardless, I love the Swedish folk art style, and that's what this reminds me of. The bold colors, I have a thing for the color schemes as they chose here. And then, of course, I think that the um, saying is absolutely amazing and true. So, this is what it says. Each day is God's gift to you. Make it blossom and grow into a thing of beauty. So, I think I'm going to put this in my office. For now, anyways. We'll see what I do with it in the future. Just got to clean the frame up a little bit. But, yeah. This was also in the hall. So, there's this piece. And... Then we have this piece of art, the watercolor original. This beautiful little just fun display piece with the bulldog clip that I'm gonna attach some of my paper collage art to. And here is the metal utensil tray, which I'm gonna turn into a paper organizer to help keep me in line when I'm doing videos a bag of patches, the art note cards, let's see, there's those right there, and then here we have the vintage post-it notes, which they're super awesome, and I think I'm going to be putting some of those in the on the website, and last but not least, one of my favorite finds, the handmade folio with the um, handmade paper and an awesome pressed flower and leaf envelopes. You guys, what do you think? Is that not a good haul? And I wasn't in there very long. I was in there for like maybe a half hour, if that. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm not going to tell you individually each the price of each piece, but I do know what I spent. So I'm going to just add it up here really quickly. So my total before tax on these items, all the items that I just showed you were $16.50. And I already have a perfect um, idea for many of these items or a spot for them. And some, like I said, are going to be going on the website. And I definitely am going to be using those um, papers, the envelope, the floral press handmade paper and envelopes in some upcoming journals. Really quickly, speaking of journals, I also uploaded a new completed journal. I just finished this one yesterday and it's this beautiful vintage floral fabric. You can see that in there. And it's, um, it's embroidered. Here's the spine, here's the back, and then I'm just opening up to some random pages here. It's over 40 pages in length, and I left room for you to write collage art and journal in, but I also loaded this up with ephemera. So it is a completed one, but there is space to make it your own. Whoever purchases this journal is going to receive a curated surprise ephemera packet by me. I'm going to make sure that it flows with this journal so that you can use it in here and really make it your own. Um, and that is also on our website, northernvintagedecor.com. If I remember, I'll drop a link in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this Goodwill haul video. Do you shop at Goodwill? Do you find any good finds when you're there? Yes or no? I'm interested. What's the best score you've found to date if you do shop there? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. I am going to continue producing content that I think my viewers would like to see, and I'm always open to suggestions as well. Uh, follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Again, our website's northernvintagedecor.com. You guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I will post a new video on Monday. Take care.